Welcome to the European Parliamentary Research Service podcasts. Generative artificial intelligence systems such as ChatGPT are trained on vast amounts of data to imitate human responses. But what if they became conscious and therefore unpredictable in their behavior? Stay with us. Artificial intelligence. Large language models such as Midjourney and ChatGPT can seem conscious as they're powered through complex learning processes based on comprehensive data sets to produce responses that seem human. What these generative AI models do is use neural networks to identify the patterns and structures within the existing data to generate new content. Now, very much like the human brain, These neural networks and structures are made up of a colony of cells or neurons that are massively interconnected. So, keeping the comparison with the human brain, if these colonies get big enough, could consciousness eventually spark? Maybe not at the individual level, but a kind of collective consciousness at a higher level. Well, it all depends on how you define consciousness, and there are several views on that. But since generative AI is usually trained on data available on the internet, it's bound to mirror the overall collective consciousness of our society. However, there's no guarantee that a collective consciousness will always lead to wise decisions. Think of a mob, for example, acting in ways and doing things that most of its individual members would never do alone. And bad decisions based on biased information or fake news can be even more harmful than malicious or selfish acts. Yes, they can. The danger is that a conscious AI might have dubious motivations such as gaining more likes on social media. So how should the EU review its legislation in the face of these new challenges? Regulating artificial intelligence must be closely linked to proper regulation of data and its governance and the concept of liability. And the EU has been working on this for a few years already. Passing legislation such as the Digital Services Act the Digital Markets Act, the Data Act, the Data Governance Act, and the revision of the Product Liability Directive. And it's now finalizing work on the AI Act, which is set to become the world's first comprehensive legal framework for artificial intelligence. It will define generic mechanisms to regulate the application and development of AI, assess how this regulation should be applied to generative AI, and help decide whether additional laws are needed. In parallel to this, the EU will continue to shape its policies in areas impacted by generative AI, such as the creative economy, education, health, and many more industrial, social, and cultural sectors. Want to know more? Check out Andres Garcia Higuera's full policy brief on the EPRS website or in our app. This is a European Parliamentary Research Service podcast. Thanks for listening.